I picked up this MIDI controller to use within the My DMX5 software. Since the ADJ controller only works outside of the software, I was looking for some additional control while in the My DMX5 program. I struggled getting this to work and there seems to be a lack of instructions and tutorials on the My DMX5 program. The key to getting this to work was understanding that you have to configure the My DMX5 program settings to see the controller before mapping any controls to the device. Open My DMX5, open your file or add your lighting fixtures. You're going to go up to the top left corner where Setup Control Touch is located and then you're going to see these three dots in the far left corner. Click that, go down to Edit, go to Settings. You're going to go to MIDI Audio BPM and here you're going to find your device that you plugged in. Now you may see several instances of your device. Uh, I recommend you just do the top arrow right here and then select MIDI Input and MIDI Output and then you're going to hit close. All right, on the control tab, I have several scenes here, but we're going to just concentrate on these first four here. I'm going to show you how you can assign buttons uh, now that we have the program receiving orders from the MIDI controller. We're going to go to live mode because I don't want this recording a scene necessarily. I just want to control the scene. So we're going to go to MIDI, map MIDI. And we're going to click on the scene. There's red scene. And we're just going to push the button. And you're going to see it registered the button to play that scene. And then we're going to click the next one and press button two, button three, button four. OK, now if we close this and I just push these buttons. And so now I can click these to change them. But if I just push the buttons, you'll see it runs through them. So I can do them in any order. Now it's just a push of a button. I don't even need to look at the software. I just need to know what the button on the controller. Now, if I want to do movement, uh, this is where it gets a little tricky, but the faders do. You can assign a fader to control the faders down here. So if I want to control, let's say, one of these lights down here, I highlight it. And then I'm going to go to Map MIDI. These are my buttons, and now I'm going to click on left to right. I'm going to just push the fader a little bit or all the way up. You can see your registers. Next one is going to be up, down. And the third one can be maybe brightness, dimmer. Um, and that's all we'll do for now. So. Close this, and now, while I'm highlighted on this light, you'll see as I move the faders, I can now control it with the faders. Now, the only downside to this is that if I click on another light and I move the faders, I'm still only controlling, notice this light, these faders are assigned to this light. So if I want the fader, the same faders to be assigned to this light, I have to remap them every time. But this at least allows me to give the user a controller versus use the software, which can be a little intimidating.